Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So I've got so much stuff to show you in this video. Um, I've been meaning to make this video for a long time. This video is basically stuff that I've ordered or that's been sent to me as, as a gift um, or channel donation. Um, and as I say a lot of stuff that I, I, I've bought and just not used yet. So this stuff's been piling up for a long time now. So. I thought today why not let's dig it all out and go through it and show you it because there's some mega cool stuff in this. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, they're in no particular order, I'll start bringing the stuff across, I'll show you it w while I'm here and then we'll bring the camera over, do a close up, show you all that and then come back and show you the next thing. So God only knows how long this video is going to be but um, yeah I think if you can be um, bothered to watch to the end you might see some cool stuff. And actually, if you watch to the end, I'll put on the something very special that's very close to me, uh, very special to me, I should say, that uh, I'm guessing quite a lot of you will, would have no idea I've done. So, um, yeah, I'll do that at the, at the very last bit. So, let's get cracking. So, first up is this amazing wooden clock that my friend Adrian made for me. Um, he asked me what I wanted um, printing on it, and obviously I had to have the Avanta. Just super, super cool. Um, you'll hear about Adrian more in future videos because um, he's going to be producing stuff like this, custom stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, he's got some big plans. But uh, anyway, this was just something he did for me and uh, it's absolutely awesome. So yeah, absolutely love this thing. It's awesome, Adrian. Um, and obviously the Avanti being my favourite all time RC car is just pretty special. It's even put the Tammy Legends logo on the bottom as well, which is super cool. Very, very cool thing and definitely need to find a nice home for this now. Next up, genuine, obviously genuine, um, Tamiya Falcon rear wheel set, tyres and wheels and the wheel adapters are in there as well, which is mega cool. So a huge, massive thank you to Gobsmacked, you know who you are my friend. Um, I reached out on the Facebook group and asked if anyone had a set of um, wheels. Didn't expect something like this to come back, so we agreed on a price, and um, he kindly sent me them, and then just arrived. So uh, I've got no excuses now not to get on to uh, my Falcon restoration. And how cool are those? So cool! I love still seeing stuff like this that's kind of available. It uh, it's just awesome. So much um, edge to it. It's uh, it's incredible that um, they've never been opened. Um, so anyway, yeah, I've got no excuses not to get cracking with that Falcon now. Next up, um, if you're a follower of my channel, you will have seen I um, I love my Subaru Impressors. And um, in one of the particular videos, I talked about a couple of future projects I was planning. And I was planning to do the, um, I believe it's 1998 um, Colin McRae replica. Um, but I didn't have the wheels. So a lovely gentleman called Simon, hope you're watching Simon, messaged me <laughs> and get this. He said he'd found some on eBay and he ordered them for me. I, I offered to pay and he just went off his own bat, ordered these wheels, paid for them. They were delivered to him and he's in the UK and then he sent them out to me in Canada, which was just incredible. And uh, they're the actual Subaru wheels I needed to finish that project. Also, in the same box, he sent me these vintage te uh, Thunder te Terra Scorcher gold wheels for free. Now, unfortunately, as we speak, I haven't got anything of these to go on, but I 100% know in the future I will be putting these on a Terra Scorcher and I cannot wait. And then the wheels. So, super cool. I mean, the gold ones are just mega cool, but uh, for me to have the actual um, Scooby decals I needed as well to finish that Impressor off, mega cool. Next up, this one blows me away. This is from Keith and family. Um, again, if you follow the channel, um, Keith donated the Tommy Intruder EX car to me, which was just mind blowing as you could probably tell from the unboxing video. Um, but in that video, um, I'm, I was learning about the different versions of the Intruder and I couldn't figure out, because the 
EX version had certain things that would look to me like they'd been taken off. So what I mean by it, it was either a standard intruder that someone had tried to put some EX parts on, or it started life as an EX, and um, because of breakages and things, the EX parts had been replaced with standard EX parts. Um, so unknown to me, Keith went away, and he's got fantastic contact, uh, contacts within the RC community. And um, I got this, as he called it, a care package. Just blew me away. So the first thing we got is genuine Tome Intruder EX tires, full set, front and rear. They're so rare, it's unbelievable, but it gets better. Um, he also sent me, got me a brand new EX bumper. Now that might not sound so spectacular, but the EX bumper is very different from a standard Intruder bumper um, because it's got, I believe it's got a couple of different positions for the arms, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm correct to that. So that's just amazing. And then get this. This is the one that really got me. EX shocks, brand spankers to be built. Do you know how rare that part is? That's, I can't even imagine. That's, I mean, the Tommy stuff is, is mega rare to start with, but to have a proper set with a black shock caps, springs, everything's there to build those for the EX, which is just absolutely mind blowing. Um, and it gets better as well. Now, this, this little bit of Tamiya bling was in the box. Now, you probably won't know what that is, but that is actually um, the front lower bulkhead off a TRF502X, which is a shaft-driven car. And the reason I've got that, Keith's got sourced this for me, is because it can also go on the DBO2 Leonis, um, which is not very well known, I, I believe. Um, just while I'm talking about this, a massive shout out to Greg because he's the person who informed me that this part fits. Um, so yeah, Keith went away and got me one as it, and got himself one for his Leonis, and he's working on doing the other blue um, alloy plate that goes with this, which have kind of dried up. But um, yeah, so we might have that in the future as well, which is just mega cool. And then last, but um, certainly not least, in this same box, Keith's amazing, it really is. Um, a motor I've always banged on about on this channel from my ch childhood is a Kyosho Option House motor, which is a Spa 240 WS, just because I had that when I, um, when, in my childhood. And uh, he's found one in almost mint condition for me and just sent me it. Just mind blowing. Um, these are the things that are so important to me, these, these things, because it's, it's all part of my past. Uh, and when I bring a camera over, I'll show you the other two motors that from my past, which this, this goes with. And uh, that truly is like a bucket list thing ticked off for me to have the free, my free childhood motors from back in the day. Um, just incredible. And then all that Tommy goodness, again, just incredible. Especially those shocks. That's just insane to me. Um, yeah, just so cool. Those bits, are, every every part of that is just so special. But um, yeah, that motor is just next level. Look at that thing. Yeah, blown away. Just absolutely fantastic. What a thing. 240 WS Option House. And it's in fantastic condition as well. I'll dig the other two motors out but, um, to go with this. So that, my friends, is my childhood motors right there, which is, to say them all together again, is just amazing. So if you don't know, that's a Demon Power, and that's actually a modified. And then we've got a modified Palmer Cyclone, and then that's obviously the Kyosho motor. But again, yeah, just to have those in my collection is very special indeed. And next up, following on from the last Tommy stuff, I've had a massive shout out and thank you to Mark who's in the UK and I bought these um, 3D printed Tommy Intruder EX rear arms and this now allows me with those other parts to fit all that onto my EX and 
I'm pretty certain that's going to be a full-blown Intrude EX, which is just fantastic. So I'm super chuffed to get hold of these. Yeah, so this is a very cool thing to have. Um, I was uh, super chuffed to uh, be able to get um, hold of these. They're supposed to be um, really top quality as well, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah, well, we've got no excuse not to finish the EX now. Now, this one, again, just incredible. Got contacted by a lovely gentleman called Chris, sent me a picture, said, I've got a lot of... Um, old vintage brush mortars and it's a couple of old speedos he says I've got no use for them if you want them you can have them um, so I saw a picture and I thought well yeah I've got, I'm collecting brush mortars uh, and there's certainly some of those that I, from the picture that I knew I could use um, hold it down so you can see obviously I'll get all this out when I bring a camera over but just absolutely amazing and uh, he wouldn't take any postage money for them either just sent them to me and I, after his initial message I think I had them like four days later but um, yeah I'll get them out on camera now so you can see them because um, there's some beauties and also with the ones that haven't got any stickers on I'm going to clean them all up and uh, I'll see what decals MCI have for them because there's, I think there's three or four mortars I just need to clean and they can go straight into my collection but there's probably another four, maybe five mortars that if, if I can get the correct decals for them, they can go in the collection as well. So just mega cool. Look at all that stuff. Absolutely incredible. So there's two of these mortars, which um, I've not seen before. And they're both in fantastic condition. That decal just needs cleaning up. So yeah, that's a quick one to get into the collection. Same with the um, Reedy. Sonic, um, I'm guessing the pinions rounded off, grub screw, why it's still on, but I've not tracked that yet. But again, that'll clean up and go straight in the collection. Um, oh, I'm starting to roll around. Then we've got that Reedy, um, what is it, Firehawk? Don't know that motor at all, but again, just need to unsolder that speedo, and that's good for the collection as well. And then we've got these others, which again, I don't know what they are. Um, that's got the same decal on as the other two, but obviously the um, the can's different and the end bell's different, so possibly a different wind, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to getting into them because I know MCI do various decals. Um, so we're definitely going to have one, two, three, four, I'd say we'll probably get about seven, seven of those mortars all cleaned up and in the collection, which is going to be mega cool. Next up, we have a full kit that's been sent to me, um, which is just incredible again. Um, this is from my friend in the UK, Jeremy. Um, I speak, I've spoken to Jeremy a lot in the past. Lovely guy, bought quite a, some stuff off him as well. Um, anyway, he's massively into RC, and he just messaged me and says, look, I've got a kit, which I pretty thinks, he thinks pretty much is all there, uh, just needs putting, putting together. Now, it's, the, it's not the stadium funder, it's the white version of that and I should know stadium something stadium blitzer I think it's called this it's a white pickup body now obviously there's no body shell with it um, but he basically said it'd be cool for you to to build it up on the channel obviously see what bits I need source those buy a reproduction body shell for it and um, possibly now this is not going to be anytime soon but possibly when I've got it all built we'll get it out running and, and then we'll give it away on the channel that'd be cool wouldn't it um, so that's kind of a plan, but as I say, it's not going to be any time soon. Um, I'm not even going to get this one out because I think you get the gist of what's in it with the white wheels. Um, I think he did say that there's no shocks in there, but uh, I've got lots of shocks, shocks kicking around. So uh, yeah, at some point in the future, we'll we'll dig all this stuff out and. Um, well, we'll lay it out and we'll see what's missing, if anything. And hopefully, I'll have most of it. And if not, we'll put some wanted ads out. But uh, I think that'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? We get it built on the channel, get it out running or whatever. And I'll put some, obviously, we'll get radio gear in it. And then I'll just give it all away. We'll, we'll dream up some question or questions on the channel. And then uh, someone's got a chance of winning it. What do you think, guys? Good idea? 
just a quick look. I'm not I'm going to dig all that out, but um, that's the Stadium Blitzer. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, a white pickup truck. It had some white wheels on. But uh, yeah, at some point soon, we'll get all that out, see what we need. So next up, um, this little package was sent to me by a lovely gentleman called um, Michael. Um, he did a lovely letter with it. Um, these are both basically old school Tamiya leaflets and brochures. Um, and he just contacted me and says, do you want them? The, the three, if you want them. And I am starting to collect this kind of stuff. Never meant to, but um, the sort of old liter literature, can never say that word, the guidebooks, catalogues, magazines. I'm, I'm getting a little pile of them now. And um, these kind of brochures and stuff just add to them. So let's have a look what we've got. This stuff's really cool. Very cool. Look at these decals. How cool are those? No idea what they're from, but uh, very cool. These are exceptional, these flyers. Um, obviously that's the four before. And you get all the information on it. And underneath it, there's a frog one. These are so cool. And look, where do you see the back of this one? Very, very cool. And I've got more of these from Sergio to show you as well. This little lot came as a surprise. Um, massive shout out to Sergio. Um, I think a lot of you will know Sergio as Snapshot Racers on Instagram. Um, fantastic Instagram page, one of my favourites. Anyway, he played a middleman for me in getting getting me my um, DBO2 Leonis. Um, it was in Switzerland. So, um, yeah, he I bought it, but he 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 paid for it, got it shipped to him and then eventually shipped it to me, which was massively kind of him. But in the box when I opened it, had all this Tamiya literature, um, I can't say that word, literature. <laughs> um, these are mega cool and they're all mint condition. So I'll lay them out on the table and show you them. These are rather special. So these things are incredible. I absolutely love them. So starting from top left, we've got big wig, hot shot, clog buster, Thunder Dragon Striker and um, Thunder Shot. Gives you all the bump, but um, look what's on the back of them. So yeah, we've got all the action shots of them on the back. These are absolutely top quality display pieces of literature. I'm, uh, I'm just so happy I've got these, they're awesome. And then we have the bigger versions. Um, obviously these are in full color. And uh, yeah, but these are definitely be going on display. Now check the back of them out. Look at that, so, so cool. And another two of them, obviously Celica, GRB and Super Sabre. And then, as you would expect on the back. Oh my goodness, how good are they? So I think I've got, I've got five, and then there's another two, so I've now got seven of those, which is just awesome. Next up, massive shout out to my friend Martin. Um, speak to Martin every day. Um, yeah, he sent me this uh, Radio Race Car magazine just for my collection. I love reading these things. Look at the back page with the uh, Tamiya King Cab. How cool is that? Um, but what made this very special, he said he'd put a little surprise in there for me. So he'd also sent me some different makes of tyre decals, Goodyear and I can't remember what the other one is, I should know. But anyway, he sent me some small ones so I can use on my cars. But um, he actually got me a Radio Control Model Car Magazine badge. That is so cool. Obviously it doesn't go with this magazine, but I have got a lot of these magazines. One of the magazines I've got has actually still got the um, Radio Control Model Car decals on the front page. You used to get free stuff and the badges were just the same. That is just mega cool. Um, again, for me, it's the small things like that that I really appreciate because you could have all the money in the world, but um, you might struggle to get hold of one of those. So to have one, um, I'll get it in the display cabinet somewhere at some point. So um, yeah, Martin, thank you very much. So this one was completely different to me. Um, I don't know this magazine. It's called Radio Control Car Action. Now I believe this is American, but uh, oops! But please put in the comments if I'm if I'm wrong. Now I've got a massive apology to make. This was sent to me, and I have no idea by who. So if you're watching, please comment below, and so I can thank you personally. Um, 
because I've had so much of his stuff lying around for ages, sometimes obviously I've, I've thrown away the envelope it came with, um, which would have the person's name on. So yeah, apologies for that. But this is a very, very cool publication. Um, what year is it? It's, um, sorry, I was looking at prices. It's August 1990, um, the world's premier car, RC car magazine. Um, you know, it's got two prices, Canada and USA, so um, I would guess it's the US. It's packed full of vintage brush motor articles. It's amazing um, and really cool adverts that I've not sort of seen before. So in the future, because I've got more of these magazines turning up, I've also got the Days of Thunder NASCAR on the front, which um, I'm not. Sure, by the time this video comes out, I'm not sure if you've if you've seen the finished truck video. Don't think you have, but that that truck video with that livery is coming soon. But as I say, I'm going to do another um, golden era of RC video on the magazines, and we'll go into them in more detail because this is packed with cool stuff. Now, these are two of the coolest things I have ever seen, and I didn't know they existed. So these came from Keith and family um, from the US. Now, they're not mine. Um, he just wanted me to show them on the channel. Um, and I've had them a while, so that's why I'm doing them in this video. These are very special. So, Tamiya RC Car Enthusiast. When I first saw it, I just thought this was just photocopied. There's two of them. Obviously, we'll bring a camera over. Um, I just thought they were sort of homemade. But, um, no, these were a real thing. Um, US dollars, 4 99 Canada, 5 98 The official international trade publication for Tamiya RC enthusiasts as I say we'll bring a camera over these these are very unique um, so comment in the below if you were uh, if you have any of these because as I said I'd never seen them before and it's got some pricing in there it's got a pricing chart of um, some new and used cars and I just think it's it's absolutely fantastic never seen anything like it so if you have got any more information on these, just please put it in the comments. But um, yeah, let's bring a camera over and have a look at them. So these things are just way cool. What's the date on it? February 1998. And on the back, got the Wild Willy. Hot shot on egress on this one. What's the year? 1999, April. On the back of this one, the Ranger, so cool. So, let's see if I can just sort of go through one. Sorry, it's awkward doing it around camera. Give you an idea of what's in it. Okay, that, that's the, the David John TL3F Pro. Very cool. Adverts. Lord, uh, just so much interest in reading in this thing. But I, I'm I'm just trying to get to a, a bit that I, I found really cool. This bit here. So car and kit number. So it's obviously listing these particular kits, and then it gives you five categories. Um, you know, where's the little key? Ah. And this is your scale. They call it the Tamiya Blue Book. This is so cool. So, so you scale from one to five, number one being the best and five being the worst. So they basically say number one, cars new in box, right all the way to number five, which are cars being run. And then if you go across and you pick on, let's say, the Fox. So when this came out, a brand new in box Fox would have been 225 to $275. So if I can hold this up on this line here, um, all the way through, which is hilarious to the um, number five. So the car has been run, wrecked, stripped, and left for dead. Um, so you should pick that up for two, between two and $15. <laughs> yeah, right, that's awesome. What's number two? Car was never run and was built as display only, so it's a shelf queen. So 150 to $200 for a shelf queen fox. That's just so cool, love it. And I think we've got, different ones and there's a full write up on the 959 very very cool I'll be interested in the comments 
if um, anyone's got any more information about this stuff, look at that Quadzilla racing, quad buster chassis. I think they're still going strong now. New and used parts. Wild Willy body parts set, 100 for a new, 50 to 75 used. It's just a hiss. It's just so cool. I'll just quickly show you the other one because uh, I think I think these are worth looking at. Oh, we've got Quadzilla again. Oh, so bloody hairs everywhere. Full full right up on the hot shot, which is a thing of beauty. Wonder if this had anything with if these were produced by Tamiya or not. Um, right, here's one I wanted to show you. Um, this article here, not just another clod buster. So you can see what chassis he's put it on. So it's a clod body and wheels, but he's put it on the. Um, actually, let me just get it right. Which so it's a Bruiser Mountain, so Bruiser Mountaineer chassis. Um, Look how it's put a lot of big engine detail in there. That's just incredible. And it looks uh, looks pretty cool as well, doesn't it? And then on the other page we've got some sort of random suggestions for paint work for the XR3i. XR3i, bloody hell, show me edge air. Um, XR311 and Cheetah. And then a couple of Formula 1 cars. It's a Tyrrell, isn't it, with a the wheels. Look at this, um, looking, they're actually selling like acrylic full display boxes. And then we've got another price guide. So let's go with um, 58008, the black Lamborghini Countach. So a new in box one, 400 to 475. And a battered thing would be twenty-five to fifty dollars. If only those prices were uh, today's prices, eh? How good would that be? Look at that bottom, new in box nine five nine and egress three seven five four twenty five, egress four fifty to five hundred. Yeah. If only we had a time machine, eh? Full um, right up on the gorgeous egress. Love that, love that. It's got the uh, Dynatech O1R fitted and the Dynatech O2H as backup. Yeah, it's really cool. It's got to be something to do with Tamiya, this publication. It has to be. But um, yeah, I just think two extremely cool things that I uh, wanted to show you. And Keith, if you're watching, these will be on the way back to you very soon, my friend. And then we have this. This was sent to me by, again, a lovely gentleman called Mark, um, who just emailed me out of the blue, said, uh, I've got um, some ti tiny gifts, that's what his wording was, um, as like a, a, a birthday present or whatever. And uh, So, yeah, he sent me these couple of things. Now, obviously, I'm a massive Marui Ninja fan, um, but this is the 132nd scale, and it's just so cool. Because I've got the real one tenth card downstairs in the collection, this is just perfect for it. Um, I'm pretty certain that, um, but I do need to look into it and re read his emails he sent me because he sent me all the information. But uh, I'm pretty certain this is um, remote control as well. It's not a wind back and off it goes. Um, so we might be able to get this running at some point, but um, mega cool. Um, and he also sent me this. The Batmobile remote control, and uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, so again, I need to go back and look at all the information he sent me about these two things because he went into great detail um, about how to run them and what um, like lipo, sorry, lipo batteries to use, which is mega cool. So at some point, um, as I start working through all the to-do list. We'll see if we can set these two things up and uh, have a quick blast with them, just for a bit of fun. And now another massive thank you to my friend Andrew. Um, Andrew has been following her channel for a long time. 
um, he's always in the comments on the videos which is just much appreciated however um, on my um, Tamiya Lancia 037 rally car um, I, I think he asked the question was I going to eventually put LEDs on it and I was like yeah eventually but no rush um, anyway he contacted me um, and said look I'll, I want to donate an LED kit to you for your Lancia which is just awesome because I don't know a great deal about these um, and I believe everything is in here to light the full car up so two lights at the back two main headlights and then the four spotlights the rally spotlights so uh, that's going to be super cool and uh, thank you Andrew but in the same box he also sent me a brand new um, BZ Superstock motor which I didn't have a clue about um, so that's awesome because I was going to buy another because I want the BZ motor in my um, Tamiya Air DBO2 Leonis build um, so that's just absolutely outstanding BZ motor so that's going to go straight because it's brand spanker that's going to go into my um, D, uh, DBO2 Leonis because that's the motor of choice from Tamiya for it so that is super cool and then obviously we've got all this LED kit here for the um, Lancia O37 which is just going to be amazing and he sent me all the stuff I need so there's the two rear LEDs but there's the four middle spotlights to light up and also the headlights that's going to look incredible so these were sent to me by a lovely gentleman called Niall in Ireland um, now I didn't have a clue he messaged me so well I'll read you the letter I think because I don't know anything about these I've seen them before but um, Greetings Glenn, I hope, this finds, find, I hope this finds you well. I've been a fan of your channel for some time now. Your passion for Tamiya and our seeing is infectious. Thank you. It's become a, I've become a Tamiya covert along, all, along the way. In these times your videos are a great escape from the realities of what we're all living through. So thanks for all you do. Much appreciated. Um, please find us a gift to you. One 100th scale Tamiya RC Minis. I've imported these myself direct from Japan. From what I can see, they were either given away as promotional items with coffee cans or from the Gasophon machines in Japan. There are three lines, UCC coffee, the white cases, lineups include Grasshopper Hornet Frog Hotshot, the Suntory coffee, the yellow cases, Lineups include Hornet, Grasshopper, Frog, Stadium Raider, Twin De De Detonator, and the Ni Nitrage. Nitrage? No, I don't know. They are pullback models and come in a bunch of different colours, vari variations, including box art versions. The Georgia coffee, sadly not included, is probably the most desirable line. They came in a tiny kit form that you had to assemble and stick it yourself, which was very cool. Uh, he goes to list all the cars. Oh, yeah, sorry, we should read that, shouldn't we? Uh, the lineup includes Racing Buggy, Frog, Grasshopper, Hotshot, Boomerang, Thundershot, a Stoop, Manta Ray, Top Horse, and a hidden model, the Avante. I've never seen many of these sets come up for auctions. They always sell. They always sell, and the Avante is always missing. Well, I didn't know that. They also there is also a line of Tamir RC trucks, five trucks in total: King Hauler and Night Hauler, etc. I thought you might find these things cool. I think they would look very cool alongside those mini Tamiya boxes. I hope you like. Again, thanks for everything you do. That's massively appreciated, Niall. Um, yeah, let's bring a camera over and have a look at them. So these are absolutely incredible. And uh, it's not really something I know anything about. But um, Niall has um, done a lovely letter with it where he, he goes into detail about what they actually are and where they're from. So I'm probably going to do a follow-up up, follow video in the future on these and go into them in a lot more detail because, um, yeah, I don't even know sort of any, what the age is to them, if they're old or if they're still available, but uh, they're bloody cool, I'll tell you that. So last but um, certainly not least is a modern-day magazine, which is Radio Race Car Racer. Radio Control Car Racer, I apologise. And this is um, July 2021 edition. <laughs> And on the cover, it says, Behind the Scenes at Tamiya Legends. <laughs> Sorry, I, I do get a bit giddy about this. Um, at the time when this came out, I didn't really sort of make a big deal about it because I think I can, you can get a lot of hate, or I can anyway, for things like this. 
But um, yeah, I was contacted by John Weston in the UK, who is Iconic RC. I'm sure you'll all know him. Um, he's got an amazing Facebook group, a large one. He's obviously got his own Instagram, tra- Insta- Instagram page and YouTube channel. Um, and he is Mr. Vintage RC for me. I've known John a lot of years. Anyway, I knew John did um, a column for this magazine. Uh, anyway, he contacted me and says, we'd be interested in doing like an interview with him um, online. And I was like, yeah, that'd be fantastic. But he called it a column. So I expected just like this little bit in the corner, but it's actually a four page spread, which is just incredible. Um, I'll just show you it quickly before I'll bring a camera over. If you are interested in this, you can get this, you can get this online, but um, yeah, that's the first two pages. A Tamiya legend, that's me. Um, and then the next two pages were my action pictures in there, which is just mega cool. Um, so yeah, we'll bring a camera over and I'll show you that. Um, but um, yeah, it was basically a, about 20 questions he asked me and I just went into all the detail and was completely honest, as I always am. Um, that to me is very special. Um, I hope, or I think I'm mostly, you know, I am quite a humble person and I'm 100% genuine. Um, but for me, that is almost like, you know, in YouTube terms, if you get 100,000 subscribers, you get that plaque sent to you. It's called the uh, silver play button. Obviously, I would never get 100,000 subs. Um, but this is this is my version of the silver playlist. And uh, it's just cool. And that's something, when the YouTube channel's long gone, that's something I'll have always. And I'm going to get it opened up and framed. And uh, And it's just... Sorry if this is sort of rubbing you up the wrong way, but it is very special to me. Um, and it's not a recognition thing or anything like that. And not it's not me trying to be big headed. It's just when I when I look back, I was actually in an, an, I was actually interviewed in a proper RC magazine, which just mega cool for me. And my little claim to fame, which is just absolutely awesome. I love this. It's uh, it's very cool. And any other two pages, and just so cool to have my uh, my own action shots there. And what have we got? DTR two on the left, Egress Monster Beetle, one of the Scoobies, another Scooby, and then the Avanta. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So I think that's pretty much it. So again, just a massive thank you to everyone involved who's been able to um, send me the, all this stuff over. It's massively appreciated. Um, also. To all you people who've made like um, one-time PayPal donations to the channel, um, I can't tell you how massively appreciated it is because I don't do Patreon anymore. Um, I found that too much pressure, if I'm honest. People actually sort of paying you monthly. Um, yeah, it put me under a lot of pressure that I didn't like and absolutely killed the hobby for me. But I spoke about that in previous videos. But um, yeah, a lot of these girls and guys have done like little PayPal donations which is massively uh, appreciated and we don't often give you thanks for doing that um, but anyway yeah it's massively appreciated so yeah apologies if you've sent me something that I've not shown um, yet because I do have some more stuff but um, yeah I just need to sort of get all the facts and figures together so I don't miss anyone and I'll do that in a future video so God only knows how long this video's rattled on for, and I'm pretty sure there won't be anyone watching right now. <laughs> anyway, if you are, massive thank you. Um, if you are new to this channel and you're still here, awesome. Please give, smash that thumbs up button and hit the um, video notification bell so you're notified of our weekly videos. And as always, my friends, happy RCing. Mm-hmm.